Hey guys, good morning. It's Nikki. Early in the morning, just waking up. Forgot the kids had a late start, so of course I'm up. Um, you can keep your comments to yourself, baggy eyes, all that shit. I really don't care. This is me. First waking up in the morning. Um, it was really heavy on my heart. Um, could barely sleep. Holidays are coming up. Talk to somebody. Like, we know it's hard. We're missing people, people that we love, people we care about. Some people um, are missing, and you don't even know where they are. So we have a void. Um, that's a very hard feeling when you're missing a family member. Like, it's one thing for someone to pass on. You know, that hurts as well. Let's, let's just be honest. But for someone to be missing, and you don't know where they're at, and you don't have closures, it can be very heavy on you. So any family member out there missing someone, stay prayed up, stay strong, you know. And I ain't going to say it's going to be easy because it's not. That's a whole bunch of bullshit, you know. Like, just try to make it through the day, try to make it through the hour shit, try to make it through that minute that you're trying to get through for that moment. And then people that have just lost anyone in general. You know they're in a, a better place. You know death is a transition. We gotta remember that. It took me a long time to learn that. Now I will share with you. I am 36 years old. I've been experiencing death for over 25 years. Um, 1997, I lost 13. That was my, I could say that's the first time around life I experienced death like that. I lost 13 friends and family members that year just to come out Thanksgiving Day. My uncle was actually murdered. Um, he was shot in the head and murdered. And what really influenced me to start this YouTube channel, and really I think this is the time to launch now, um, is the holidays are coming up. And then exactly one year ago, um, my children experienced the same damn thing with their uncle. Um, their uncle actually um, was missing. October 29th of 2017, he was missing. The last time anybody ever heard from him. This time last year, we would still be waiting to hear from him, hear a call. He was missing still this time last year. He was missing for 30 days to be exact. And then they found him murdered um, with a gunshot to a head. So you had to figure that that did a lot of shit to me last year. You know, I felt like it was a repeat of history. And to see my children go through that, it's just been overwhelming. You know, it is definitely a day by day thing. Um, it's definitely, like I say, a minute by minute thing. Um, seeing my husband, you know, go through this, it's very hard. We do have the other child, one of his children that stays with us now for a lifetime. You know, I have him for a lifetime. And um, it just is what it is, you know. It does get hard, but we have to get through it. So my main focus today is to tell people, reach out. We know people are hurting, we know people are in pain, but reach out, you know, let's try to make the best of the holidays that we can, you know, let's remember to celebrate and let them live through us, even though they're not here physically, you know what I'm saying? You have to get past some of the grief and some of the pain for you to contact them on that other level, you know, life, this human body, it's just a transition. You were someone way before you came into this human body. But yes, it does hurt. And I'm just encouraging people to reach out, you know, reach out to a friend. And for the people that reach out and help people, sometimes they don't need you to say nothing. Sometimes they just need you to be there. Like, just be here, dude. I don't even care. Like, you can sit on the couch with me and watch TV. But just be there. So with the holidays coming up, I just want to stress people to reach out to family. You would be surprised. You might have to reach out to a stranger and everyone else, you know, Think about those families going through hard times because it is not easy. I want everybody to stay prayed up. I know it's some random rant. I'm just getting up my first YouTube post. You know, life has kind of told me just keep going. Go out on a whim. And I got stuff in the works. But my main thing is to tell everybody, keep the faith. Keep praying. Keep fighting. You can do it. I promise you can do it. <laughs> keep fighting. You can do that shit. Kids getting on your nerve. That's all right. Keep fighting. Keep praying. Keep the faith. Keep the hope. And more than anything, keep faith in yourself. You can do it. All right. Much love, Nikki.